I had my master's degree, but I couldn't get a job in my field. So right now I'm working in a gas station. And I know it's a haram job here because I'm in the registrar and I'm selling the beer directly. So I'm, I'm trying to get out of this job and to get a halal job. Though everyone is asking for experience, but in the same time, my brother-in-law and my cousin is working in IT. But in there, to get the job, you have to show them uh, uh, like seven, eight years of experience, which you don't have, but people are going and getting the job right this way. They don't have, they don't have to show any degree, just they have to show them that I have worked somewhere for last seven, eight years, the same job. And they're going in the job by learning this prior to the interviews and they're getting the job and they're surviving and getting a good future. So in that case, my sister is forcing me to get this job, to try, learn, and to get this job. But I don't want to go to Got that it. job because it's faking the experience. It's like hard clear. to do. Clear, so, clear. But I'm waiting to get a halal job, and I'm applying for a halal job so I can get a job with my real experience. First of all, Yanni, just to make benefit of the time, I've been, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Allah favored me to do this for the past like 21 years. So the moment you speak, I can relate to your question because it's, it's, it's like yeah, any, uh, the palm of my hand, I can <laughs> tell. So don't uh, waste your time and a lot of experience uh, and a lot of explanations. I, I know what you know. First of all, Akhi, who's the Razzaq? Allah Azza wa Jal. Who's the provider? It's Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jal did not put our risk in haram means. This is your test. The brothers lowering his gaze here, your risk. So it is not permissible for you to work in selling cigarettes, liquor, or any haram material in a gas station. If you're pumping gas, no problem. But if you're at the register and the guy says, give me two packs of Marlboro and a bottle of scotch, and, and then you ask for ID to see if he's over 21 or whatever, all of this is haram money. Now, to get a certificate which is forged, this is cheating and lying. And the Prophet said, whoever cheats is not from among us. Muslims don't cheat, period. Muslims don't lie. They'd rather die rather than do haram that would tarnish their reputation as Muslims and it would gain them sins. And believe me, if you look, you will find for a job that is suitable. Providing that you have full trust in Allah Azza wa Jal. Because it's not logical that Allah Azza wa Jal, who created the trillions of animals, of fish, of birds, of insects, and Allah feeds each and every one. It is illogical that when it comes to you, that Allah will not provide for you. Nobody can say this to me. I believe that Allah Azza wa Jal is the provider. Full stop. So depend and believe in him rely only on him and he will find you a way but when you see keep on depending on my strength no 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 i if i quit my job that i won't be able to find i don't have this uh, it's not you Ahi. it's allah who provides there are people with phd and aren't, aren't successful the billionaires and trillionaires of the world this is all from Allah Azza wa Jal. He can take it in a second and he can test them with this money. So trust him and inshallah, you will find your way out, but never cheat and never lie.